Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be all about open houses. So this is going to be a great video for anyone that just got their real estate license and is looking to build up their clientele because open houses are an amazing opportunity to get in front of potential buyers that are not working with an agent already. And so what we're going to do is I'm going to tell you some of the tips and tricks that I have used to have successful open houses because holding an open house is not just a one day thing. It's an entire week process. And so I'm going to break down that week process with you. And then we're going to get into story times because I have had some scary open house stories. I also have some really successful open house stories. And yes, I have gotten several clients from holding open houses. I actually got my first two clients from open houses. And so towards the end of this video, I'll explain that. But for those of you that don't know me, my name is Brianna Selena Orendine, and I am a licensed realtor in the state of California. If you want to get in contact with me, all of my information will be in the description below, but let's get on with this video. So it's Monday, it's the start of the week, and your goal today is to find an open house for this upcoming weekend. So I would message all the agents at your office. I would look to see if anyone from your office has any new listings and send them a text or give them a call, letting them know that you wanna hold their house open and that you're gonna be communicative with them and that you're gonna do your research and really put in the necessary efforts to make this a really successful open house and and you want to let them know that because a lot of the agents are just going to do the bare minimum and open houses are an amazing opportunity and that agent doesn't have to allow you to hold their house open they could hold it open themselves or they could have another agent hold it open for them and so you really want to make yourself stand out and let them know that you're going to be communicative you're going to put out x amount of signs you're going to do you know before advertisement you're going to door knock on the neighbor's houses let them know what exactly you're going to do so then that way they can entrust you with coming up with the time to hold that house open so monday your goal is to find a house to hold open so now it's Tuesday. What you wanna do today is you wanna start making advertisements and also see if you can find any lenders or any escrow officers that are available to hold the house open with you. It's really important, especially if you are like me, a young female, to hold a house open, a public house open, because it's a little scary and we'll get into story time a little bit later because anyone can walk in through that door and you want to make sure that you do have someone else there with you. This is also an amazing opportunity for them to get new clients and to build that relationship with you and potentially meet other agents because don't only think of holding an open house open as an opportunity to get clients, but also look at it as an opportunity to meet the other agents and the other you know, individuals that are working in your community. So then that way you can start building relationships and you never know, like what if they are, if they have a listing and you have a buyer and your buyer really wants that house and you know it's a very, you know that you know that's a very popular house and it's very in demand. And since you already have that relationship with that agent because you've met them, you talked to them and they saw how professional you were, you know, with the way that you dress at your open house, with the presentation of everything, with your flyers, you know, they might go with your offer and your client as opposed to someone else's. So Wednesday is all about door knocking. You want to go and door knock the, na the neighboring house houses around the house that you're holding open because one it's an opportunity to meet potential buyers because you never know if there's someone in that area that is a renter and that actually loves living in that area i've had a buyer that was renting the house right in front of the house that we were selling and he ended up purchasing and seeing that house with me and so door knock the neighbors and then that is also an opportunity to meet someone that is interested in selling their house and so hopefully you are able to find a lender on two Tuesday to go door knocking and hold the open houses with you and 
hopefully they can go door knocking with you and what i would do if i did have someone else door knocking with me is i would take one side of the street and then have them take one side of the street and kind of try to like stay in unison so then that way you know just for protection and then also like let's say if you do speak to someone that wants to purchase a house well hey oh my god that sounds great i have a lender that's right across the street let me let me call him over and he can give you some a breakdown on the interest rates right now and give you a little bit more information a script that i would use if i'm going door knocking it's just very casual i'm just inviting them over to the open house there's no pressure there's no you know anything and so it's actually like a pretty good experience when you're door knocking and just inviting people to a party <laughs> you know it's like in, and i would make it fun so let's say i was door knocking i would knock on a door and i'd be like hi so nice to meet you hey my name's brianna Oranlein, and i am a real estate agent in the area and i'm actually holding the stevens house um open this saturday from five to seven and i wanted to invite you to come on over you know you can take a look at their house see what your neighbor's house looks like and you know if you do know of anyone that is looking to purchase a house then it's a great opportunity to also let them know and if you don't care about houses if this is your dream house and i'll also have cookies so you can come and have some cookies and i always make it fun like that because you could always like break the ice because usually when someone's coming to your doors people are like what do you want what are you trying to sell me you know they're just like completely like closed off but when you like whenever i find that i joke and i'm like oh and like if you just want to come and i'll have cookies like that usually like makes them laugh and then they feel a lot more comfortable with me and they feel like they can open up and they'll you know usually they'll sometimes they'll be like oh thank you so much and i'll be like all right you're welcome like have a great day and then i'll just leave and then other times they'll actually talk to me and they'll ask me questions and they're gonna ask you questions so make sure that you know and do some research beforehand because they'll ask you oh you know what how actually i was looking at you know purchasing so how's the market and so you have to know how the market is you know what's the interest rate you gotta know what the interest rates that day are and then or let's say how fast are houses selling right now know the days on market in that area know what other houses are for sale in that area be knowledgeable and let them know that you are an agent that is professional and so then that way whenever they are looking and it is time for them to purchase or sell then they think of you so what i would do thursday is i would follow up with anyone that needs following up with from door knocking and then i would call everyone in my database to let them know that I'm holding an open house open so if they know of anyone that's interested in purchasing to let them know or if you could have their information so that way you can call them directly to let them know that you're going to be holding this house open and that it's immaculate it's it has you know four bedrooms off you know an open floor plan has a lot of lighting tell them all the great qualities of this house and even if you know that they are not in the market to purchase they might know someone that's in the market to purchase or you reaching out to them makes them think oh my gosh brianna is such an amazing agent she's calling me letting me know she's really going out of her way to you know sell this house and be an amazing agent and then that gives them you know the confidence to hire you whenever it's time that they need to you know purchase real estate or sell real estate and now also what i would do on thursday is do another social media post i actually forgot to say that for wednesday when you're door knocking do a social media post hey guys i'm out here door knocking with my flyers we're inviting everyone to our open house all right so now it's friday so you can tweak this it doesn't have to be every single day that you do exactly this you can tweak it because sometimes you might want to hold a house open on friday so this might be your opportunity for holding the house open so you might just want to change around um the days because you don't have to be specific in it this is you know this is however you want to run your business this isn't a this is how things have to go this is a suggestion this is, has worked worked for me and so friday we're going to say that you're not holding the house open and that you're holding open let's say saturday and sunday and so what you want to do friday is you want to start doing pulling all the comps that are in the area that are similar to your house and you want to print out those you want to print out any flyers that you have open at your open house and you also want to figure out how you're going to have 
guests sign into your house. So whether that is maybe you have an iPad and there's this you bought a, like a realtor system where you can have individuals you know sign in and put in their information there and then it puts it in a Google Drive for you if you fancy like that. I'm not fancy like that. I usually just like have a paper filled out and it just says like put your name here, your last name, phone number, email. And then I'll probably have like a box there that says like, are you working with the realtor? Yes or no. Are you already pre-approved? Yes or no. And then just have people exit off that way. And then um, I would have those in individual sheets. So I never want to have a whole list of where people sign in just because if someone else comes in, they can see everyone else's information. And I always want to be, you know, very careful with any information that people give me. So I would give them a little sheet to fill it out that's like individually theirs come up with a giveaway so a lot of the times people are going to come in and even when they sign in to your sh your sheet um they're gonna they might put the wrong information i know sometimes i've done that when like i feel super uncomfortable somewhere and i'm like i don't want them having my number i don't want them having my email i don't want spam email i don't want that and so what you want to do to kind of, you know, make sure that you're really getting accurate information from people is have a giveaway. So I have seen realtors give away like Apple AirPods. Um, something that we use at our office is we'll give away Padre tickets and we'll give away like two Padre um, tickets and we'll have a raffle. So when they come into the house, I'll have like my sign in sheet and all my information there. And then somewhere throughout the house, I'll have a little board that says enter the giveaway, fill out this like fill out a little paper, put your first and last name and your number. And then we'll be raffling off a Padres tickets, you know, two Padres tickets and the winner will be announced blah, blah, blah on our social media sites and then put your social media sites and say, follow us there. So then that way you can keep updated with giveaway and then so not only are you one getting followers they're going to keep seeing you on social media and then two you're making sure that you are getting their correct information so now it is saturday it is the day of your open house so the first thing that i would do is i would always let the homeowner know that i will be there an hour early prior to the open house because i want to make sure that I have the opportunity to turn on all the lights prior to the open house starting. I want to turn on all the lights. I also want to open all the windows because you never know. Sometimes, um, you know, houses might have a smell. You just want to make sure that you're airing it out because smell is very crucial. We have so many senses. You want to open up the windows, let the fresh air come in, and you want to also bring some items just in case to make sure that you know, there is a pleasant smell throughout the house. So you can bring some candles. I know that there are some agents that will boil like cinnamon sticks to make the whole house smell like cinnamon. Um, something that I like to do is I like to bake some cookies. So I'll add some cookies into the oven and make sure that you are getting permission from the homeowner to do this and to use their oven. You always want to get permission, 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 and get permission in writing. So if you do, let's say if you're talking to a homeowner and they do agree to let you do something you want to then follow up with the email so if you have a conversation with them send them an email right after that conversation be like hey david thank you so much for speaking with me i'm so excited to hold an open house this saturday i and i look forward to being there an hour early to cook bake cookies open up the windows blah blah blah, blah. and and confirm in writing music if you do have a little stereo or if you do know the homeowner will let you um you know turn on the tv and add you know play some music from youtube or anything definitely sets that definitely sets the ambiance and now it is Sunday. And so like I said, you can move this system around however you like, depending on how many open houses and when you want to hold them open. The money is in the follow up. So everyone that signed into your sheet, anyone that you got their information, follow up with them and then also update the agent. If you are holding that house open for the agent, let them know how many people came in and if you had anyone interested in it. And let's say 
there are people that came in interested in with an agent and let them know like, hey, here's the information. Um, this agent came in with their client and their client really liked the property. And I just wanted to let you know that it might be great. It might be a good idea to follow up with that agent and see if they're going to submit an offer on your, your property. And, you know, doing those extra things to be in communication with not only the seller, but also the agent is you know, just, it, it's a great business practice. It shows how professional you are and how much, and how you take this seriously. Okay, so now we're going to be discussing some story time. Story time is absolutely my favorite and I'm going to keep them very brief and believe me, there is reasons on why I'm telling you these stories. First, we're gonna start off with the good stories and this is how I got my first client. So the first client that I ever got, I was holding this house open for four hours. Nothing happened during the open house. And then I was kind of sad and I started closing it up. I turned off all the lights. I closed the door. I was putting the key into the lockbox, and this car comes around and this lady sticks her head out the window and she's like, hey, excuse me, like, is the house still being held open? And I was like, oh, I closed it, but I'm like, yeah, girl, I, I go ahead and park and I'll open it up for you. Like, don't worry. And she was like, yay. And so I take out the key, I open up the house and she comes in and she starts expressing to me how she desperately needs to find a house and that the person that she's working with isn't giving her the attention that she deserves and that she just, just really wants to find a house because she wanted to get into the house before the school semester starts because she wanted to get situated and everything and focus on college and so i remember her telling me this and i was like who's your agent and it turns out like one of the agent that she was working with was one of like the biggest agents in san diego at that time and that goes to anyone that is interested in like you know working with an agent you know sometimes working with the most busy or well-known agent isn't always the best because they're very busy and they don't have time to allocate to everyone and so she felt like she wasn't getting the necessary attention that she deserved and then she ended up firing them and then hiring me as her agent and we found her a house and so moral of the story is if someone comes after your house is held open like open it up if you can unless you, like if you have something to somewhere to be then like that's understandable but like you know if someone does come in later open it up for them because you never know that might that is a potential buyer and you might end up getting them as a client and now the second client that I ever received from an open house. I was holding a house open and a couple blocks down there was another house very similar to mine that I was that I was holding open and this lady comes into my open house. She tours it and me and her have a conversation and I could tell she was a little bit more reserved and quiet. Um, but I still was able to like, you know, manage to build a little bit of rapport with her. And I ended up following with her the very next morning. I thanked her for coming to my open house and I tried to set an appointment with her. And I ended up setting an appointment with her for that Friday. And so she comes in that Friday and is speaking with a mortgage individual. And while they're running her information, I'm talking to her and she ends up telling me that she really liked me as the agent, but she liked the other house that she saw and she wants to put an offer on that other house. And that was one of the easiest transactions that I have ever had because I didn't have to show her any homes. She already saw the house when it was being held open and she wanted to put an offer on that. And the crazy thing is that there was an agent there that she could have wrote the offer with that agent that was holding that exact open house, the house that she wanted open. And yet she made that connection with me and wanted to use me as her realtor. And especially because I followed up with her the very next day, early in the morning. And now we're going to talk about one of the scariest times that I've ever held a house open. And so I'm lucky that I was holding this house open with a lender and I remember this guy comes in and he was just weird. Like you, he came in and he just had this like, 
I just felt his energy. I know that's so weird for someone to hear that just doesn't believe in like energy or anything like that. But like, I am a huge believer that we all have energy about us. And this guy had just like this weird off-putting energy. And he comes up to us and he's like laughing and he thinks it's funny. Like he had these, and then he shows us his phone. And basically he has like these gruesome videos i'm talking about like the videos that you see on the black market like i personally have never seen videos like that before and he thought it was hilarious to show us footage of just horrific things happening to people and i instantly got terrified and i was like oh my god this guy's gonna kill us and Thank goodness I had a lender there with me. And I just remember like I slowly backed away and I just left the lender there talking to him. And I was like, oh, I'm out. I'm leaving. <laughs> and I remember like when I was like, I was kind of already out of the house in the backyard and I was kind of like watching from outside and like I went on my phone and I was telling um my team lead at the time. I was like, yo, someone just crazy just walked in here. What do I do? And then, thank goodness, the loan officer that I was with was like, hey, man, that's crazy. You know, those are just some crazy ass videos. But like, hey, you know what? Like, we're actually going to start closing down the open house. So here, like, here's the, you know, here's the front door. And he like walked him out. And I was like, holy smokes. Thank goodness that lender was there because I was legit terrified, guys. I truly do hope that you learned something new with this video. And if you did learn something new, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe because I will be posting a video every Tuesday and every Thursday. And any videos that you want to know about, if you want to learn about anything in particular, go ahead and comment them below and I will be sure to get back to you. But thank you guys so much for watching. Again, my name is Brianna Selena Ordenai. And if you want to get in contact with me, my information will be down below. But thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing day.